Now let's move on to the topic of fashion. I okay. You can tell that you enjoy that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. What would you say your style is? What are some things that catch your eye? And do you have certain stores that you tend to frequent more than others? What a big question, Joel. <laughs> um, my fashion, it depends on where I am. If I'm on air, it's pretty, you know, it's more on the professional side. But I definitely like to kind of go outside the box and push those boundaries a little beyond just kind of a blazer and a, a collared shirt. Mm -hmm. So um, I get a lot of my inspiration from fashion blogs. Mm, and okay. uh, I really enjoy fashion blogs quite a bit. And now Pinterest, which is kind of a, uh, takes kind of farms all the stuff from those fashion blogs into one spot and then you can create your own little blog, kind of a mini blog. So that's been really fun. Um, my favorite places to shop, um, I love Covered in Uptown. It's a fabulous boutique, one of a kind pieces. Bluebird Boutique in um, at the 15th, 15th of France neighborhood. And then I do a lot of shopping online with like ShopBob and some other. ShopBob is out of um, Madison, Wisconsin, I believe. So you can place an order free shipping and you get it within 24 hours and then if you don't want it, you just uh, send it on back with free shipping as well. So their customer service is fabulous, um, but I, I don't know if I could p pinpoint my, what would you say it is? Um. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. hard. It's hard. to point anyone's fashion sense, I suppose. Yeah, especially when you know you like. If, a, if you're a person that likes variety, yeah, you don't want to get pigeonholed. Okay, they're preppy right. or they're this right, or they're right. that. Yeah. yeah, one day you know it's wearing pearls and uh, a blazer, and the next one is a funky dress. So I think also living in Minnesota because of the w <laughs> different <laughs> weather, <laughs> you have some direction where this is kind of how you have to dress, as exactly. opposed to you know you get much of a choice. So true. Next topic is dealing with travel. Mm -hmm. know you enjoy that. What are some of the places that you've been able to visit and what are some of the places that you'd like to still visit? Oh, wow. Well, I know uh, I really like to um, travel obviously within the United States but abroad as well. So last time I went abroad was to London last May. My sister was studying abroad there so I get to visit her. Um, I've traveled quite a bit around Europe. I didn't make it though um, to uh, I'd love to go to either Scotland or Ireland because um, I didn't make it, to, I did, obviously made it to London. Um, and then I would really love to go to Greece. I think that would be fantastic. Within the United States, um, well, I'm going to uh, a music festival coming up here called Coachella. Okay. And it's in um, India, I believe is the name of the city, but it's near Palm Springs. Okay. So it's in the desert in California and it's a three-day music festival. That's been on my checklist for a long time, so I'm really excited about that. That's coming up in April. Then the last uh, question I'd like to ask is dealing with the Twin Cities. Mm -hmm. You're obviously a person about town, but with your working schedule somewhat limited. Mm -hmm. Would you say that you're somewhat of an explorer, or do you like to do research before you go to places? Ooh, I do. Um, I don't over-research anything, but I definitely like to look things up a little. I like to read Yelp, reviews on things. Um, as far as planning ahead with parking and, and all that, I wing that part of it. But I just kind of like to know a little bit of what I'm getting into. I never look at a menu though before I go to a place. It's more just what is the vibe and what are people saying about it. So you're more about the journey than just yeah. knowing everything ahead of time. Yep. Very cool. Well, thank you for your time today, Natalie, and we appreciate it very much. Joel, thank you so much.